Since the crisis happened, we're seeing a global economy which is growing more slowly than it did previously, and that obviously has implications for unemployment. So even as we begin to talk about a recovery of the global economy, the fact of the matter is that at the global level, unemployment is still on the increase. Just over 200 million people out of work, an extra 3 million uh, this year, and more to come unless we're able to turn it around. So it's not good news. Uh, we know that young people are particularly affected if you're under 25 you're probably three times uh, more likely to be out of work than other adults. So the global situation is, is pretty bad uh, and I think we need an urgent turnaround uh, to, to change some of these trends. The informal economy is big. If you're looking at sub-Saharan Africa, you're talking about 80% of people at work. If you're talking even about Latin America, it's nearly half of people. So this is a big problem. Now, I think the most encouraging thing we can say at the moment is that we now have a global consensus, which did not always exist, that the right thing to do is to try to formalize this informal economy. Governments want that because it helps on tax and social security. Employers want it because it eliminates unfair competition. And workers want it because the informal economy is generally where you find um, bad working conditions and sometimes exploitative ones. I think the real challenge, though, is to get the right mix of policies. You need better inspection, you need better enforcement of laws, but you need ways also to encourage enterprises into formality. We need to help them through social security systems, through tax systems. So we need really quite a sophisticated blend of policies in a strategy that's going to work. Yeah, I think what we need to see, and that's what we're all here to do, uh, is a future uh, of work w which is inclusive, that is to say where everybody gets a chance of a job and a decent job, not just any old job, a decent job. So we need that inclusiveness and I think we need to make the world of work a source of greater equity and fairness in our societies. We're all of us very worried about increasing inequality uh, in our countries. A lot of that starts in labour markets. Uh, wages are lagging behind, people are finding it difficult to secure decent work. So I'd like to see an inclusive labour market, an inclusive future of work uh, where everybody gets a fair chance and everybody gets a fair share of what they produce.